Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Galahad and welcome back to episode 6 of the Minecraft Adventure. Now, in the last episode, you'll notice that obviously it was a bit of a mess. Um, I recorded too much and I wasn't able to get it all actually fit into the video properly. So what I'm going to do before we start anything is I'm going to roll you a clip of how I've got this thing on my back. Enjoy. Okay, the island doesn't arc around, but I do, I do have a smaller gap here to bridge to that one. We're getting there. We are almost there. Almost at the point to myth bust whether or not <laughs> dying in the end does give you a chance of returning to get your things if you can, you know, locate the right island the first time around. The right city even. Which I did not do. There it is. Alright, well, here goes. Oh, it's on an island on its own, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I'm going to have to end up that gap, and I'm going to have to pray that it's enough. Oh, but that's quite the gap. I can make that, can't I? Don't have a choice, I suppose. Oh, God, I didn't make that, did I? Oh, I did. Excellent. Okay. Shields up. Yeah, this is all looking familiar. Then again, so does every other end city I've been to. I'm getting my things back. Oh my god, yes. My things are here. Oh, they're all up there as well. No way is my inventory full. Come on. Right, hold on. I'm gonna die. Again. Oh my god, stop doing this. I hate shulkers. Did you know that? get this effect to stop. Right, I might be able to survive this and get my things back as well. Oh! 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 Okay, 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 okay. I don't have enough space to put my ender chest. No! Just gonna have to go there. Oh, that's not my ender chest. Oh my god, I'm so paranoid. It's ridiculous. Give me a shulker. Put my things in here. A lighter, get in there. Rockets, get in there. Pickaxes. Oh yes. Oh, you won't believe how happy I am right now. I don't know if that's everything though. <laughs> I really have no idea if that's everything. Did I get my bow? I didn't get my bow. Yeah, I did. Oh my god. <laughs> this is incredible. Um. All right, let me just double check. Elytra, yes. Rockets, not all of them. Which means there's still things kicking around here somewhere. Where's my silk touch? This is my silk touch. Uh, I need to get this shulker box down so I can actually um, put things into it. I'm just dumping pretty much everything right now. That's full. Give me it. Thank you. Okay, you're going in there. All right. You're you're going up there. You're fine here. Give me. Thank you. Now I need to try and do something about these guys. Is there, oh, I don't even have an arrow on me. Oh, do I have an arrow anywhere? Yes, arrows. There. Oh, don't lose that. Oh, bad day happening right now. Snuck in and got me. You're going to my offhand. I do what I can about these shulkers. Oh, there's more stuff down there. Oh god, there's more stuff down there. No. I don't want to lose anything. Where's this last shulker? I don't even know. Okay, I can get down there. I don't know how far I can get. I can get right there. Okay, excellent. Give me. 
Give me. Okay, great. Give me, give me. Give me. Where's the shulkers? They're not even in this room. Excellent. Okay. We've got a little bit of breathing room. Woo! That was intense, let me tell you. That's right, guys. So, I managed to get my tools, equipment, and elytra back. This makes me happy because it means that I didn't have to spend four and a half years hunting for new stuff. Not to mention, when I did find my stuff on the way back, I was able to find an extra set of wings for good old Wilbur. He's sporting them very nicely. I also find myself a bunch of shulker boxes, and there's more in the chests over there. So, we are set up, ready to rock and roll. So, for today, what we're planning on is we're going to do a little work in here today. Because, I'm done a bit well, but I'm kind of tired of seeing this same nasty ass uh, ceiling and walls and stuff. So, what I think we're going to do, uh, there he is down there. There's the Optifine, kicking into gear. Um, we're going to get the rest of these modules filled in on this side of the wall. And then we're going to do this design on the floor here, to make sure it's all nice and even. And then I think we're going to take a look at the ceiling and see what we can figure out with that. So, let's get these modules built up and let's see how things look. Alright then guys, so, we managed to get a little bit of work done. Um, I managed to get all the chests in place for the rest of the modules that go down here. I'm currently working on the hoppers, but it costs a great deal of iron to uh, do all those modules. So, what we're going to do now is I'm going to kind of give you the tour that I promised. The the rundown of what you missed between us fighting the dragon. No, that's a lie. Of me going to the end in the last episode and to what I've done now. That made no sense, but you get what I mean. So, we've uh, Will, actually, not even we, it's uh, that guy right there, mm. has finished the design pattern on the floor, just carrying this design on. I, see, I'm a big fan of it because the... Uh, the acacia has a nice accent to the grey stone. The stairs give you this nice little bit of depth with the water in it. Gives a bit of colour. It's, it's very nice. Very pretty. So as a rundown of what you've missed. So you're already aware of the villager uh, the villager breeder. That's uh, not working right now. <laughs> and the uh, copious amounts of villages we have hiding down there. Um, there's a lot of entities down there. It's, it gets very loud. Like, there are a lot of villages down here. <laughs> so yeah, these guys are going to get sorted at some point. It's really not been a priority, to be honest with you. I don't know if you agree with that, Well, I don't think it's really been a priority to get the uh, villages sorted. As soon as we got mending, I felt... Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah. I think that was, that was all I wanted. I was just like, please, mending. can I have mending? Yeah. That's I, it, I'm happy. I think, obviously, once we get the... Uh, Excuse me, the the main room done with the towns and everything. We can start shifting some villages in and giving them professions just for the decoration purposes. Yeah, that, uh, that'll look really nice. I like that. Chuck, uh, got an extra mine cart. So, you'll also see I have uh, more shulker boxes now, which is always good stuff. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. I guess I only have four of these. Um. And I decided it'd be a good idea to, for me to name my shulker boxes and organize them by, you know, how they're going to be used. So we've got G Tech, G Stone. You can see there's a theme here. Um, uh, so we've got all my redstone bits, some uh, various stone blocks, some backup gear should any of the stuff I'm wearing break, uh, wooden stuff like crafting tables, going to be doors, fence gates, uh, trap doors, stuff like that. Uh, G Travel, which is minecarts and rails, along with some boats, food, and then these. Um, this is my project box, so whenever I'm doing a big project, I'll uh, you, um, rely on the items inside there to uh, crack on without the project. So well, a couple of things we did. We mined out this huge area at the back here. It was mentioned, and we kind of started it, but we cracked on with it. So Will did most of the work. I kind of joined in for the last couple of layers, <laughs> but we've got this huge space now. And I want to point out... We did this without efficiency 5. Uh, sorry, no, we did it without haste 2. We don't have a beacon. We should really have a beacon. But it's on the list. The, it's on the to-do list. Yeah, the biggest thing that yeah, I guess you guys missed was down here. Um, you got a glimpse of me and Pothead Orangutan starting it in the last episode, but I went ahead and finished it. Um, it doesn't really work right now. <laughs> we have 
a lot of cave lighting still to do. But we've got, I think, five or six layers here uh, of the slime farm and uh, the collection system back here. It has been running. Um, nothing in there right now, but we've managed to get like a couple stacks uh, of slime balls. You'll notice I don't have any iron golems. Uh, there goes the minecart. There's no iron golems because we simply just don't have the iron. Um, but one thing I am going to be planning on doing in the next few episodes, hopefully, is we're going to head over to spawn and build an iron farm. Oh, look, there's the there's Will poking up there in the little sky access. <laughs> Um, we're going to be heading over to the spawn and making an iron farm. Now, obviously, as you guys probably know, iron farms are best made at spawn because the chunks are always loaded, meaning the iron farm will run even if no one's on the server. Because, obviously, this is a 24-hosted server. So, yeah, that means we can have uh, all the iron we could ever need. And that's more or less what you guys missed. Obviously, like I mentioned, we did, I did get back my equipment from the end. Um, after I died, and also got some more shulker boxes. Other those bits and bobs. Nothing really happened in here. We got a new cat. Uh, it's this one here. It was a baby, then it grew. We've got so many cats for some reason. Yeah. Um. <laughs> but right now, all I'm doing is finishing off this storage uh, sort of bay, shall we say. Um. And once that's done. Get the items filtered into it, and that's this room near nearly done. All we need to do is finish the decoration and get cracking on the ceiling. I've got all the chests in, all the hoppers in, all the comparators, repeaters, torches, dust, everything. All I need to do now is put the filters in. Um, and once I've put the filters in, I can start allocating what chest holds what item, and from there, this room will be close to complete for its purpose at least for all of the chests and everything will be close to pretty much done once that's done i think uh will is going to do some work on this uh ceiling but predominantly he's going to be working outside on the entrance because that needs a lot of tender loving care it's been left uh unloved for far too long i'm also gonna at some point get this fixed but uh, it's not too big a deal I do want to get more farms installed, and not only more, but better. Um, so I think at some point, I'll probably leave this all in here, but I'm really going to build a big industrial sugarcane farm. Um, Don's going to provide us a lot of paper to go alongside the gunpowder we get from the mob farm whenever I decide to build that. Um, but yeah, almost there. Going to start allocating some slots, and we'll be good to rock and roll. I thought I'd pop out and get some more ice. On my way back, I found... Something maddening, to say the least. So, if I can just get out here. Um, you see there's a three banner men here, which doesn't seem that bad, that's fine. But then you see that. What on earth is that? I'm using the last of my rockets here, but hey-ho. So, yeah. How is this okay? They are everywhere. And I mean... Holy moly, they are everywhere. Oh, oh, woo, woohoo. So yeah, there's more raiders than I've ever seen in this game before. In pretty much this area. I think at some point, just for the fun of it, Will and I might have to come and, uh, shall we say, thin the herd. It is complete. So I managed to get every single of the uh, one of the racks in place. I'll give you a quick breakdown of what I've got here. Um, so these are ores and ingots, essentially, without, obviously the coal doesn't come in ingots, but it goes ore, ingot, ore, ingot, blah, 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 all the way through. I had a couple slots left over at the end, so I allocated them for golden carrots and golden apples, because at some point I will do something to increase the gold production, which will make life easier. Um, I've got all the different colored types of concrete. We were thinking between concrete and wool for the color blocks, but we decided concrete would probably end up being more helpful in the long run. And then a section here for the uh, different mob drops. Um, I kind of finished the water stream that goes the right way, the whole way around. It's a bit inconvenient, and I'm probably going to change it again, because when I'm standing up here putting items in, the items kind of go out of my render view around about here, and when they do, uh, I have to run down here to load that the, the items, and then they chunk together, I fill the hoppers too fast, and then excess goes over the top. It's very fiddly, so I might change that round. Uh, maybe do hoppers with an immovable object on top, do what I can to reduce the lag. And this section over here, there's no redstone behind, and if you can see, there's no redstone behind there. Uh, these are just for any item that is not sorted and bulk stuff all over the place. 
You'll notice these uh, shulker boxes. I decided to go out and grab some uh, sand and some gravel. I've got nine uh, shulkers of each, uh, so I could make more of the concrete to fill the system. But right now, I think what I'm going to do is go outside. There's a plains area just over the mountain to the north. I'm going to kind of allocate some space and get some plans together for some larger farms. Uh, the slime farm is nowhere near complete because of the fact we've not been able to uh, actually uh, get the iron necessary for making all the iron golems because we're very lacking in the iron department. But once upon a time that'll get finished. But I'd like to get some farms kind of together because we have managed to get uh, some decent amount of slime, uh, slime blocks from downstairs. So I'm going to go find a space and we'll see what's what to work with. Alright, here we are then. So the base is actually just on the other side of that mountain right there. I think that's actually the, the, the height of it. Um, so we're going to use this plains down here to create sort of an industrial area where we're going to be building a lot of the farms. Um, bamboo, sugarcane, uh, that sort of thing, melon and pumpkin and so on and so forth. For the bigger farms anyway. Now I'm aware that obviously I could do zero tick sugarcane farms and zero tick bamboo farms, but I don't know. I just... I don't want to. I like the idea of having a nice big farm, something big and ridiculous. So that's what we're going to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to level this out pretty much nearly on the entire biome. Get it leveled out. Um, just clear out a huge section here. Uh, and then we'll start mapping out which farm we're going to do first. So this so far has been infinitely more tedious than it ever needed to be. Uh, but I'm getting there. So I've cleared out I flattened out the land as I said I was going to do. I have outlined a 100 by 30 something area. I don't actually even know. Uh, and I've sectioned it off into these grid patterns. So that I'm thinking for this farm, maybe one part sugar, one part bamboo would be an intelligent method to take here. Um, but yeah, I've gotten started. So currently what I'm about to do, and I have the water on me, is I'm going to put in some light sources and then I'm going to start filling in all these trenches with water put some uh, oak leaves on top of the water sources and then we can start planting whatever it is build up the flying machines and get going this has to be the single most tedious thing i have ever experienced in minecraft i would be doing this with ice just normal run of the mill ice plunk it down and let it melt but i simply don't have enough and i can't be fussed to go out and uh, harvest some more I am this far through with this far to go. Oh, I'm going to be here all night. Oh, okay, so we are now on the last few buckets here. And let me tell you, it's been a very, very hard, like, 35 minutes uh, listening to this sound over and over again. But now, just to make sure it is done, I'm pretty sure. I haven't left anything flowing. It doesn't really matter if I have. It's just really personal preference that it's all uh, steady sources. Everything's looking good. I'm going to leave it there and assume uh, I didn't miss anything. So now that that's done, I can uh, fall in the water constantly. Skip over everything and go and get some uh, oak leaves. I have a bunch prepared. Uh, I went through a lot of my iron to get it, but hey-ho. Um... So we'll head out, and that's a creeper. Let's get him. Oh, okay. Don't mind if I diddly do. Right. Could do with a little more gunpowder. So we're going to grab some oak leaves. We're going to get those water sources covered up. And with that, that should, in theory, be just about us ready. All I need to do from there is to uh, create the flying machines, plant everything I'm going to need planted. I'm going to have to get rid of these end caps and reorganize all that a little bit. It was just temporary while I had somewhere to uh, keep myself safe from any mobs that decided to come say hi. But now, that is my new life. So I will get back to you once all of this is covered with these leaves. Hopefully, we'll be on track. Admittedly, this was infinitely easier than placing all the water. And now I have all of the oak leaves in place. However, I did make a little bit of a boo-boo um, in the, the order of which I built this thing. So I built the frame, then I did the, the water sources, the light sources, sorry, the trenches, the light sources, the water, then the leaves. I kind of forgot to do the collection system. So I'm going to have to 
in very tactical strips, go underneath each of these sections, likely avoiding that nightmare down there. Because um, there's caves under here, but I'm going to more or less fill in a bunch of these ch uh, spaces just so I can actually do this. Um, so the ground level is here. I'm going to have to put the tracks on that block right there. And I'm going to have to do them... What I'm thinking about doing is maybe doing a up-down pattern. Uh, just snake the tracks all up and down each of the runs. However, I feel the production of this farm is going to be much larger than a single minecart can cope with. So I'm probably going to have to do multiple rows. And there's about, I think there's 50 rows, which means 50 minecarts running at the same time, which is going to cause a bit of lag. Unless, of course, I decide to do... Let's see. Uh, I can maybe do one hop minecart to five rows. That will reduce the number to ten. Um, so send the hop minecart up and down five rows. Drop off the stuff, and the next one goes along, and so on and so forth. I feel that could be a smarter option. So what I'm going to do now is get down under here, fix all of the mess. Uh, the cave is. I think there's just this one here, or maybe another one over there, uh, and get the area cleared out underneath here so that I can organize the minecarts. This project's starting to get to be a lot bigger than I intended. I managed to clear out a tiny, tiny fraction of an amount of this area out. So yeah, I wouldn't have had to be going through this mess had I done the rail system first because I just built the farm slightly higher. But I've never been one to make life easy for myself, so here we are. But this project has been going on a great deal longer than I thought it would. Um, but I think we've been quite productive today, uh, in today's episode. We got the storage system finished, I'm going to show you that little clip of me getting all my equipment back, which was very nice. Um, and we've managed to get, I'd say, 80% of this farm finished. Um, but, let me just, uh, get out of this hole. Unfortunately, uh, I've not been able to finish this in one go today. Um, so I'm going to have to apologize and say that we are out of time for this episode. So thank you everybody so much for joining. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you really enjoyed it, then feel free to subscribe. And as always, it's GG from me. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.